Hey everybody, it's Jason Creel and you're watching The Lawn Care Life. I don't normally wear sunglasses in the videos, but it, it's just bright and I'm having trouble focusing, so that's the reason for that. But today I'm talking about backpack sprayers. I'm gonna show you the backpack sprayers I use, both a, a pump version and a battery powered backpack sprayer. And then I'll show you a little handheld sprayer if you're interested in that as well. So this is what I use. Doesn't mean there's not other good brands out there. Uh, that these are the greatest ones ever, but these are the ones I'm using and have had good success with. So let's get started checking those out right now. All right, so here's the sprayers that I currently have for my setup. And I'm going to start with the one in the middle, and this is a Milwaukee sprayer. This is the one uh, I was given this last year, and to be honest with you, it kind of sat around for a long time, and I didn't use it a whole lot. And then this year I thought, you know what, I need to get this thing out and start using it. So I've done so and it have, have really, the more I've used it, the more I've liked it. So let's go over a couple of the positives. One, uh, just Milwaukee is a brand. I've, if you're familiar with just power tools and stuff is a great brand and their batteries last a long time. So you say, well, how long does this one last? Well, I'll say this, I'll use this sprayer for two or three weeks and I'll check the battery and it, it is almost fully charged. So I, I really don't know how long this battery lasts on this sprayer. Now I've used the same batteries in like a hedge trimmer or a pulsar or something like that and they, you know, drains a lot more battery power. But for this particular sprayer, the battery lasts weeks. I mean, it lasts a long time. So uh, definitely a positive for that. The switch tank is kind of a, a big selling point on these things. So you see, you know, I've got this tank on here and it here's a separate tank. So what, what that means is you could fill it up with two separate uh, mixtures or maybe just have, you know, an extra, the same mixture in both. If, and then when you run out, you can just switch it over. But basically it has a buckle here on the front and there's one on the back and you literally just lift the tank off and set the other one on there and you're ready to go again. So that's, a great convenience yesterday I was spraying with it and I just put the same thing in both tanks in the morning time when I ran out I just switched the tank over and kept going and didn't have to remix you know out in the field so that was nice the uh, it runs off the m18 battery system there you can see but uh, the thing about it the things that I like about it uh, it's just like I said the battery power the switch tank and the hose is very heavy duty the the wand the nozzle everything is just just heavy duty but I don't, I don't know what to say just nothing about it seems cheaply made uh, the only negative I can think of is the weight of it it's a little bit heavy and a part of that you just put four gallons of water in anything you're carrying that you know 32 pounds or whatever that weighs but uh it's a little bit heavy on the, on the heavy side but you know i think that's part of just having the quality parts in my opinion but the thing i do sometimes if i don't want to pick up something heavy instead of filling it up with four gallons of water i might just fill it up with three gallons and that seems to make make a, a difference maybe an extra eight pounds you might be a big strong person and don't don't worry about it so but overall i've been very happy with that the other uh one i want to show you this this is the jack toe 400 hd 400 i had the three gallon one as well uh, i just bought this one i haven't actually used it yet i just took it out of the box the milwaukee one i think is like 400 dollars. i'll put links to these things in the description i um, i'm not 100 percent sure on that price but it, it's you know on up there when it comes to the price and the jack toe is is like a fourth that price i think so you know around a hundred dollars um, for this particular one jack toe is a, a good brand and i've had like i said I had the three gallon and the four gallon before and just bought another one uh it, it's not gonna have the same heavy duty stuff again it's the fourth the price but definitely a quality sprayer it fits comfortable on your back uh, it's not as heavy obviously the water is going to weigh the same but overall the piece of equipment is not the same it holds good pressure so i mean you are manually pumping this versus a battery powered but uh definitely holds good pressure sprays well i mean some of the you know the handles and things like that are not like super heavy duty by any means so if it, it's not something you just want to throw in the back of your truck and let bounce around or you're going to probably end up breaking something but you know if you keep it in a backpack sprayer rack like i've got here you'll probably be okay but i think for the price and for the value this is a great sprayer i've been real happy with it 
you know they don't obviously you don't want one that doesn't leak or anything like that surely any decent sprayer wouldn't do that but anyway just for the comfort and the way it holds pressure and sprays um, this is a very good option and if, if you like the you know just a handheld deal i use these for a long time this is one that i get off of amazon they're like 20 something dollars you know for a two gallon and like i've said before sometimes in other videos i've used more expensive ones that didn't seem to work as well the only real negative i have on this they actually make one that looks like this that's battery too that's going to cost a little bit more but the only negative on this one to me is the hose does eventually start kinking which is a problem so um but overall it's a it's for the value of 20 something dollar 28 dollars or whatever they cost this is about as, as good as you're gonna do. It's not gonna last you, you know, for 10 years most likely, but uh, I use them and they hold up pretty well. So, so there you have it. These are the backpack sprayers I use. There's other good brands out there. Let, let me hear from you in the comments. Have you used any of these sprayers that I'm mentioning? Or do you have other brands that you wanna throw out there that you've had good success with? There's a link in the description if you wanna check these out. Appreciate you watching the video and encourage you to subscribe. There's over 500 lawn care videos on the channel. My name's Jason Creel. There's also resources available for you in the lawn care business at lawncarelife.com, including recommended products. Talk to you guys later. Bye.